Welcome to another episode of WinLater 101. Today I will be talking about Steam support on WinLater. Steam on WinLater has been long anticipated feature for many users, even myself. We've seen it being supported on Mobox and other Windows compatibility layers giving those a big edge over WinLater. This is largely because of the way WinLater was programmed, taking a preference for Prout over Shroot, which emulates an user space Shroot environment, unlike WinLater glibc which uses Shroot for native execution. I I'm not sure if I explained it correctly, but in essence, Prout is a Shroot wannabe and fakes it till it makes it, and that's why it performs worse than other Windows compatibility layers like Mobox. However, this might come soon to an end, now with Longjung News glibc mod. In addition to that, recently, he released a new update for his WinLater mod. In the changelog, we found clues that he's working on the implementation of a working Steam. Upon installing this mod and further investigation, more clues were found in the WinLater side menu. Opening up the Box64 RC file menu, you'll see a complete whole new window with a drop-down box, a filter bar, and some icons that imply the ability to create profiles. In the drop-down box, when selecting default, two entries appear at the bottom, Steam and Flatout. I assume Flatout refers to the racing game. We can disable them and enable them, and also click on them to discover another menu. Upon further research, this seems to be another way to apply box environment fireballs to applications directly. I'm entirely unsure why we need a new set of these, but it's there. This profile can be enabled in the container's advanced settings as well, which is a must if you are running Steam through the container opposed to a shortcut. Now, after all these exciting discoveries and new features, I felt compelled to test out the latest Steam. However, I was met with an infinite loop of restarts. So I set out to inquire to Long Jun Yu, what the heck is up, bro? And he was like, oh, yo, nah, latest Steam not vibe like that. Take this old steam, it's dangerous out there fam. I wasn't home at the time so I irresponsibly let some of my peers try and test it first. But then it clicked me. Oh man, what if this has virus? It was already too late. Whale had already succumbed to failure because it actually wouldn't work. <laughs> So before anyone else would try it, I warned them of the dangers of logging into their Steam account on a modded Steam. Because... yeah. However, we're not sure if these are false positives. After all, the names are insanely intimidating, casting great shadows of doubt. But nothing's lost. In the readme, written by our great friend Long Jun Yu, he ensured us there are no virus, no hacking, and is safe to use. Oof. Man, that totally clears up any doubts whatsoever. Despite the warnings and cleared up doubts, I still went ahead and took one for the team. Because if not me, then who will? Besides, these viruses, if harmful at all, are completely harmless to our devices since I flipped them up and, one, they're not Android viruses. They look, infect, Windows related stuff. Second, WinLater is a sandbox, so any harmful things used in WinLater won't affect your device's systems. However, since I'm not a virus expert and I'm probably not the best person to uh, explain all this, and there's still the concern of stealing user input in the username and password entries, take it all with a grain of salt. Also, heed my next message. Proceed at your own risk. Let's leave that message up there. Now, installing this is very simple. Let's go over the README real quick. Old version of Steam for WinLater or Mobox. Please know that if you are using WinLater, this Steam can only run on WinLater glibc 7.1.2 and Wine version is 9.15 custom. At the time of making this video, that is the latest version. Not compatible with DXVK 0.96 and DXVK 1.10.3. To improve stability, it is recommended to use Box64 StrongMem 1 or enable the default Box64 RC file on WinLater 7.1.2. This version of Steam comes from the update of 2023-7-25th and was manually built from the Steam source in July 2024. 
to be out of print right now. The automatic update function has been turned off and the default small mode is started. The current problem is that the account password cannot be entered so you can only scan the code to log in. Please start Steam through one point path in the Steam folder or you can create a shortcut and then add execution parameters to the shortcut in WinLater. By this I think he means making a shortcut of Steam. However, I'm not sure what the parameter is to launch the bat file. I'd have to investigate. The parameters are the part after start steam.x in the one point bat file. No idea what that means. No viruses, no hacking, safe to use, personal Steam account has over 700 games. I'm not sure what the point was in stating the last part. Maybe he didn't create this Steam mod and has been using it himself for a while. That's a bit reassuring to be honest. Alright, thanks Long Jung Yu. Let's try this out. Well, I actually already did before making this video. Anyways, all you need to do is go to his GitHub and download the old version of Steam. I have linked the page on the description and pinned comment of this video. Extract its content somewhere where you can exit it in WinLater. Boot into your container, navigate to the Steam directory you just extracted and double click the bat file. Let it do its thing. It might take a few times to work. After it is done, you will be greeted with the login screen. Tap on the plus and scan the QR code with your Steam app on your phone. This might take a few times to work. Once it does work, Steam will launch onto the main page or it might minimize to the system tray. If it does, just double click on it and it will open. Now, you can do whatever you want, be it download a game, install a game, and fail booting the game. Because this is highly experimental and so far I've not had any game boot with Steam only tested two. The dependencies to make it work are probably not implemented yet. But Kimchi, why is Steam even needed when you've got the uh, alternative? Well, with Steam you can boot the games you own without having to bypass DRM. You could probably play your favorite online games, co-op, etc. But to me, most importantly, we could get better controller integration via Steam. Because face it, input bridge is ass. Once again, do this at your own risk. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.